In this video, I will show you how to use the focus area selection option. It is so great technique. When we have blurry background, we sharpen object, we can select objects which are in focus, like you can see in this example, we select the flowers which are in focus and we mask them in a white background. Before we begin, if you don't have the Adobe Photoshop installed in your machine, I place the link in the description below where you can download the last version of Adobe Photoshop for free. And if you have any problem installing the software, just leave me a comment and I will reply to help you. So to get started, open this image, we use this focus area selection example. So we will use this flower image, so like you can notice here, the flowers are in focus in this blurry background. So we go to select, we choose focus area. And like you can see here, Photoshop can make a selection on the focus area and get the objects which are in focus area in the image like you can see here you can make the preview on and off you can also remove any parts of the selection you can choose first the view you can change the view depending on the kind of image so we will use this remove tool and we pass it on this area and magic Photoshop remove the parts you don't want to be selected. You can of course add any parts or remove any parts from the image. We, we click on select and mask. Here we can change the radius. Effects a little. We can show the original image to see the difference. After applying the radius, we select and mask options. But the best option here is the contaminate colors. We will use the contaminate colors. The edges of the selection are more shifted. We choose new layer from this option and we click OK. Like you can notice. We get a very perfect selection from blurry background, we get the sharpen and the focus flowers which are in the focus area very easily and very quickly. This technique is used when we try to select objects from an image which they are taken in focus area like you can notice here we create a new layer we make it white and we put it like a background like you can notice here for the selection we made using the focus area selection all right guys i wish you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to get the tutorials coming up and if you have any issues installing the software or applying today's lesson, just leave me a comment and they will reply. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorials.